Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw Inosuke Hashibira from Demon Slayer. Now, a lot of people have been asking me to draw more anime characters on the show. I don't follow a whole lot of anime, so if you guys have different ideas for different characters you'd like to see, definitely let me know in the comments and I'd be more than happy to try to draw them for you. But I hope you guys enjoy this video and thanks for watching. Now to start off with Inosuke, we're going to begin with the face. So I'm going to begin right up here and we're just going to draw a little line that's just going to curve up. And then we're going to make one that's going to curve down and up. Next I'm going to leave some space and we'll do the same thing. I'm going to curve up. And then we're just going to go down and up. Starting here, I'm going to make a little curved line inside each eye with another circle inside of here. Right above each eye, we're going to draw a little curved line. And then right here, we're going to make a little line that's just going to come up and down for the nose. Then we're going to come down and we're going to curve each end. Next we can make two lines that come down. Then just draw a little line that's going to curve around for the inside of the nose. Starting here we're going to draw a line that's going to come up to a point and then down. And we'll do the same thing here. We're going to come up to a point and then down. We'll draw a little line that's going to curve across the top. Starting here, I'm going to draw some little pointed lines that are going to come down. We'll do the same thing over here. We're just going to draw some little pointed lines that are going to come down. And then right out here, we're going to draw a few more just so it looks a little bit fuller. And we're going to take these all the way across and then bring them up to here. Starting here, we're going to draw a line that's going to come up to a point and it's going to come down. And we'll do the same thing here. We're just going to make a line that's going to come up to a point and then down. We'll make another little point and then I'm going to bring it down. Another little point and then I'm going to bring it down. Then starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come up and then down. Right here, we're going to make a line that's going to come up and down. And then the same thing here, we're going to go up and then down. Now starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down and in. Same thing over here, we're going to go down and then in for the chest. Then starting here, we're going to draw a line that's going to go down and in. And then this one, we're just going to come down a little bit. Now starting here, I'm just going to make a little bit of like a zigzag line that's going to come all the way up. Starting here, I'm going to make some little pointed lines. They're just going to come down they're going to come up and then to here. Starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down and then we're going to come up. Next over here, we're going to draw a line that's going to come up and then it's going to come down. Starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come over and we're going to go up. And I'll make another one that's just going to come up. Starting here, we're going to draw a line that's going to come down. And then we'll just bring this line up. Next, 
Now starting here, I'm gonna make some little pointed lines that come down to start the top of the foot. Then I'm gonna draw a line that's gonna come down and it's gonna go over. And I'm gonna add some little curved lines on here for some toes that'll come up. Now over here, I'm going to make some little kind of pointed lines that come down. We're gonna go a little bit farther than the other foot and then we're gonna bring them up. Then right here, we're gonna draw a line that's gonna come down and curve up. And then we're just gonna add a couple little curves right here. Starting here, we're gonna draw a little line that's gonna come up to here. And then right here, we're just gonna draw a little line that's just gonna curve around. Starting here, I'm gonna make a little line that's gonna curve up, and then one here for the chest. Then we'll draw a little line that's gonna come across with a line down and a couple lines across. We'll just do one right there. Now, starting here, we're going to draw a line that's going to come down and in. And then a little line that's going to go up, and then it's going to come down. Do the same thing here. We're just going to draw a little line down. The little line's going to go out, and then it's going to come down. Starting here, we're going to draw a line that's going to come down. And it's going to curve around here. And we're going to go up and down. Next, we're going to bring this line up. Then right here, we're going to bring this line out and then up. And then we're going to bring a line right here. Starting here, we're going to draw a line that's going to come down. And it's going to curve around with a little line up and down. Draw a little line, it's going to curve up. Now right here we're going to go out, and then we bring it in just a little bit. Then we make another little line that's going to curve down. Now we want to draw the swords on here. So I'm going to start here, and I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to curve around like this. Do the same thing here. We're just going to make a little line that's going to curve around. I'm going to draw a little line that's just going to come down. It's going to curve out, and then it's going to come in. Same thing here. We're just going to come down. It's going to curve out a little bit, and then come in. Then I'm going to draw a little handle right behind each one. Now we can just come in here and add a couple little details. We can add a little line right under here and a couple little lines underneath the eyes. We can draw a little line right here for the arms and then another little line or two coming down. I'm going to make a couple little lines right across here on the pants, and then a couple more little lines right up here. And then we can make this some of this hair and fur down here a little bit longer. And there you go, there is your drawing of Inosuke from Demon Slayer. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.